just now when we talk about uh, rational number system, we said that rational number is a number that can be expressed in the form of ratio, exactly in the form of a divided by b, where a and b is number form is an uh, is numbers from the integers family. And then we also said that uh, rational numbers can be represented in the form of fractional representation and decimal representations. So now we are going to learn how to convert decimal numbers into its uh, into into its fractional representations. So now let's take this example. Find the fractional representations for the following decimal numbers. So we let, so, so we go to the A. We have the decimal number 0 0.4. So how to convert 0 0.4 into fractional representations? For this kind of number, it is easy. Let's uh, so. Always remember that 0 0.4 is actually 0 0.4 divided by 1 because when something when a number divided by 1 we don't always write divide by 1 we always just just write that number only so 0 0.4 is actually 0 0.4 divided by 1 and then we move the we move the decimal decimal point one place to the right, so it will, it will become four instead of zero point four. It will become four, but when we move the decimal point on the numerator, we must do the same thing on the denominator. So we also move the decimal places here. One place to the right, it will become instead of one, it will become ten. So now. Instead of 0 0.4 divided by 1, we have 4 divided by 10. And then, before we conclude, we, before we conclude this, this the final answer, we must check that uh, the numerator and the denominator must not be simplified furthermore. So, let's say if we, if we can simplify 4 over 10. Yes, because 4 and 10 have the factor 2. So each of them will be divided by 2. So we divide 4 by 2, it will become 2. 10 divided by 2, it will become 5. So now instead of 4, 4 over 10, we have 2 over 5. And then 2 over 5 cannot be simplified furthermore. So this is our final answer. So the fractional representation for the decimal number 0 0.4 is 2 over 5. And now we go to the B, where we have now the, the, the decimal number 0 0.77777. So this is the non-terminating decimal places, uh, decimal number. So what we should do? First, first thing, we should let x equal to 0 0.7777. So this x the x equal to 0 0.777 is our first equation. So now what should we do with equation 1? We should multiply equation 1 with 10. So it will become at the left hand side x multiplied by 10 will become 10x equal Okay now the left the right hand side 0 0.7777 multiply by multiply by 10. Just only we move one decimal point to the right, one place to the right. So it will become 7.77777. Alright. So now this is our equation number two. So what we should do. We subtract equation two from equation one. So the left hand side we have 10x 10x minus x will become 9x. The right hand side we have we have 0 7.7777 minus 0 0.777 or we can write it in the form of bar notation 7.7 .7 bar minus 0 0.7 bar. So we have now 9x equal to 7 because this bar cancel out this bar 
bar seven seven bar cancel out the other seven bar so left us with the seven only so now we should have x equal seven over nine and we cannot simplify the seven over nine furthermore so our final answer is 0 0.7 bar is the fraction representation is 7.9 alright last example so now we have here C the decimal number 3.214 where the bar is above the above the above the digit 1 and 4 so means that the repeating number is actually 3.214 and so on alright so what, what we can do we do the same thing as uh, we do in the B before let x equal to 3.214 and bar and then this is our first equation alright so actually if we if we see what we do in B, the trick is we want to we want to make sure that uh, this repeating number will cancel out the other repeating number. So we can see that actually in the in some step after that after this, we want to make that uh, one over four minus one over four something like that. So this is our strategy here. But we, what we should do because now our the repeating number is not one but two digits here so first of all we, we should move this decimal decimal point one place to the right so what we can do is multiply equation one with ten so now we have ten x equal to now we already move the decimal places the decimal point thirty two point one four bar 32.14 bar okay right so now this is our second equation all right so now actually this is the starting point here we should make the decimal place the decimal point here move two places to the right uh, you, you, you can multiply again equation 2 with 10 and then, and then uh, multiply again with 10 but it will, be, it will take a long step but if you get the idea what I said before or what you will do it before we want to come up with another equation with, that will, will do this cancellation here so to simplify the step to, short, to, 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 to make it short we should uh, move this decimal point two places to the right so we should multiply equation 2 with instead of 10 we now have 100 so now multiply 2 with 100 we have 10 multiply 100 is 10 uh, no 1000 X equal to 3214 Point one four bar. So this is our third equation. So now we have we have here thirty two point one four bar and then three thousand two hundred and fourteen point one four bar. So now we can cancel out this each other. So now what we can do is minus uh, sub subtract two from three. So now we have. So now we have ten thousand x minus ten x. It will become nine hundred and ninety x equal to three thousand two hundred and fourteen point one four bar minus thirty two point one four bar. So the bar we can is already is already elim eliminated because it's repeating. Where it doesn't matter how many places it will it will be eliminated. So now we only left is 3214 mi minus 32 minus 32 3, 3214 minus 32 so now we have equal 3182 
So now we move 990 to the left, uh, to the to the right. We have x equal to 3182 divided by 9990. So now this fraction is can be simplified or can be simplified because if we take fact the smallest factor 2, both of that both the denominator and the denominator can be divided by 2. So now we have instead of 3182 divided by 990, we have divide by 90 it will become x equal to 1591 divided by 495 95 so now our final answer is 3.214 bar its the fraction representation is 1591 divided by 490 uh, 495 so this is how we convert the decimal numbers into uh, fraction representations